what is up guys welcome back to my youtube channel Whew, i'm just trying to put out content y'all like i'm really trying to make 2018 the best youtube year ever um first of all i'm gonna go ahead and say it if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe so you can continue to see more videos like this here on my channel i am a lifestyle vlogger so i really try to share everything that happens in my life with you and hopefully it helps you in some way shape or form or just keeps you entertained i guess um i am getting ready to set up my youtube studio now i bought a house uh last year and i have a basement but i didn't know exactly what i wanted to put in that basement and i finally after months and months of contemplating this have decided that it just makes more sense for my basement to basically be like half a youtube studio and the other half is actually a bar and then there's another little area that's like my storage it's like storage slash my laundry room i also have a bathroom down there so i am about to clean it up and then move the crap out of one of my guest bedrooms into the basement because it was it's just so frustrating to have to like put away all of the filming stuff like my lighting and everything and and there's so much to go in that room i just can't do it anymore so we're about to move it and i'm gonna take you guys with me all right this is like what we're working with. I'm actually doing laundry right now, so that's probably what you hear. Um, now, I was an idiot and I caused a leak to happen right here in this area, so it's been fixed. Um, I have to clean this whole area up, which is a future project. I also am trying to get like up in this piping area to fix stuff in my bathroom upstairs, but basically, this is the area that is about to be for filming. I need to replace light bulbs and we just have to sweep and then we can go ahead and get it popping in here. Um, basically, so I was really lazy with how I put all my Christmas stuff out this year. All of this stuff is the stuff from fall. I need to buy, like, boxes and stuff for it, but I haven't done that yet. Um, so that's what all this ratchetness is. I guess I do have, I have some boxes, but this whole area is actually a mini bar. Um, I don't have bar stools or anything quite yet. This is to replace the wall, but um, I have like this little mini fridge, if I can open it. Yeah, we got a mini fridge. Um, there's counter space. There's like all the stuff for a bar. So that's its own little project that bar is, but um, I plan to actually put up some type of like a wall hanging across here. So that way it can be like the bar areas here and then that area over the area that direction is my filming studio. So we're just focusing on the filming studio, but this is like where my my boxes for the internet in this situation is a mess. So I'm going to try to clean it up real quick. I'm literally just using push pins some people don't like to do this but i don't care um it doesn't bother me i don't notice the holes i'm not like a super perfectionist about it so i'm about to just do this really quick
Okay, so this probably looks a little odd um, for right now. It looks a little crazy, but eh, it's gonna look really cute. Um, I have to go get the sheets now, and we're just gonna hang sheets over it next. So now we're just going to set up the computer. Um, I also am going to throw down a rug <coughs> that I got from Afghanistan just to kind of warm up the space for me personally. It's not something you guys will see, but it's something that I think will help and it might help with a little bit of the echoing as well in here. So we're done with setting up the YouTube studio. I'm so excited to get ready to show you. Um, obviously, I have not filmed in here yet, so I don't know for sure that the light is going to be all right. I mean, all that's on right now is my ring light, and I feel like it looks pretty good. So I'm going to show you everything that I set up. It kind of took me a long time but I'm pleased with it for now and I think it will make my filming process so much more smooth. So we are going to start with this rug. Um, this rug is what I purchased when I was in Afghanistan just to bring home with me and I never knew if I would use it or not but it really helps dampen kind of the sound and it'll just make me feel more homey instead of being on this cold floor. So over here, I just set up these little boxes that I've had for quite some time now, along with this mirror that I bought at a garage sale. I like that it reflects these like rock things off. Um, these are Himalayan rock salt. It's I purchased that from TJ Maxx, and then the little dog is obviously from Victoria's Secret. It's like one of those pink dogs. And then this is just a table that my mom gave me and one of my kitchen chairs for editing videos. I found this cute background on the website Pixels. If you do not know what the website Pixels is, um, Pixels is just like, it's photos that you can use that are royalty free um, and copyright free and whatever and you can use them and not get in trouble. So I try to use pictures from there instead of just Googling photos and using those in my thumbnails and stuff. And um, they have a lot to pick from. So I recommend that. It's also really beneficial for Instagram as well, but that's, that's another video. The background came out really well. I did add this that you can barely tell. It kind of blends in, but that was from Hobby Lobby. I got it in like the little kids section for bedroom decor. And then this is a blanket from Afghanistan as well that I just threw over that for some color. So I don't really know where this phone is from. But this is from when I had my old iPhone. I don't have a jack, I guess, in my phone anymore, so I can't use it. But it was a cool idea at the time. Uh, this is where I sit usually. This is just my vanity chair. And then this is the desk that I use. It's actually a computer desk. I picked up this desk from Bed Bath & Beyond quite a few years ago, but I have that so I can set my stuff on, and then I also have this cord that actually hooks into my camera. Now, I film with the Canon 
uh, Rebel T6i, and this is just the 15, or sorry, 18 millimeter lens. I don't really remember. It's 18 to something. Um, it's the kit lens that comes with it, and on this camera, you guys probably already know, but this actually flips out so that you can see. Um, I just recently filmed my first few videos hooking it to the computer, and I liked it a lot better. Now, I'm lighting with this ring light right now, and this is the Diva ring light, Supernova. I got this on Amazon. I love it because it's dimmable, and it literally, I could, I could survive with just that. I do have this Cowboy Studio box that does go up higher, and this is honestly my favorite lighting source. Um, you can turn on as many of these as you want, or as few of those as you want. You kind of have more control with this soft box. So these lighting sources I actually just picked up. I'm really not a fan of them. I think that the lighting could be so much better, um, but it came with these two umbrella lights as well as this little, I don't know what this is called, like a boom light or something, I don't know. Um, I put this light bulb in it. This is not the light bulb that came with this, and this light bulb is stuck. So, um, this is like the most cheaply made product that I have ever honestly used in my life. Um, I wish that I would have just not spent the money and just bought another one of these soft boxes because I believe the soft box was like 60 bucks and I could have just gotten another soft box and been totally fine. Um, and these are from limo limo studio limo studio i believe um and the light it's just the lights are not the lights are not like daylight lights if you know what i mean like i don't feel like they're the best quality um whereas my softbox they're more realistic so we're gonna see i think the lighting will be really good in here because this room is white um and that causes for re reflections like the light can reflect off the walls which is awesome um, now I do have just like these as the regular lights for this room and there's a yellow light right here So I think I'm gonna go get some daylight lights to put in the other two and that should be really helpful And over the door shoe rack situation and I hung these on here to try and prevent the wrinkles because I don't have an iron <laughs> and I just I don't have an iron right now, so that's really gonna help me out. But the last thing I wanted to show you guys was actually the fact, see, I don't even have lights pointed at me right now, and the ring light is reflecting off my wall onto me, and it looks really good. So, I mean, I don't look good, but the ring light is, is doing its job. So, the last thing I wanted to show you guys is kind of these things. I am going to be making, <clears throat> like, a backdrop I guess by hanging stuff on the wall so not only am I going to be able to film like where the computer is but I'm going to be able to film with that white wall I'm, I'm going to purchase a backdrop background a backdrop holder thing so that'll be its own video um, but I do want to have just different options for a backdrop at all times readily available so one of the things I'm going to be using I'm going to hang on the wall is this um, cinema light box my friend bought it for me for Christmas and it's really cute so I want to do that um, I made this actually with um, a group of little girls from my church I went and was a guest speaker and we spent the day making this so I just really like it and it, and it really it really focuses on things that I like like french fries and YouTube and makeup and army stuff is on there as well. The things that I'm going to hang are going to be this shadow box that I actually picked up a long time ago, but I have a craft idea I want to do for it. And then I do have this little cork board. Um, the cork board means a lot to me because I have letters from subscribers and letters from companies um, from YouTube on that so I would like to continue to hang that type of stuff on that board and have it in the background of all my videos so I'm out of breath my camera's on 7% this video is basically done for now and I will do more videos similar to this one because I really would like to make sure that <coughs>
I really want to make sure that my filming setup is really good for this year. Anything that I come across that's of importance, I'm going to make sure that I share it with you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure if you haven't already to hit the subscribe button, thumbs up this video if you would like to see more. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next one.